cool uh, and also pretty cool that we're getting some warm weather this week. Good for me, a skier, snowboarder, but... Well, truly you're a snowboarder. Snowboarder, but, but uh, to get out there maybe early next week, get some good snow for us, huh? It's good this weekend. The problem with Monday is that I think there's ice in play too, so... We might have some issues with power outages okay. on Monday. We'll take a look at right now. There's not much left of the rain. I don't think there's any left. We had a few showers a few hours ago, but what is left is the warmth. It's still near 40 in a lot of spots, but take a look at the middle part of the country. This is the storm that's coming for Sunday night and Monday. Right now it has snow, ice, rain, but see how far north it is. It's actually heading up into the Great Lakes, so it's not a classic snowstorm track. And that's why we have issues with ice, maybe even some rain going into Monday. It's 33 in Saranac Lake right now, so way warmer than what's typical for this time of year. Almost don't even need a jacket out there. The whole weekend is on the mild side. 40s tomorrow, a lot of sun tomorrow, clouds come in on Sunday. And then by Sunday evening, I think after dark, that's when the mix starts to move in. And all day on Monday, it's snow and ice. So let's take a look at Futurecast. A few clouds tomorrow morning, so it might be overcast when you wake up, but eventually the sun wins out everywhere. It turns into be a very bright afternoon, low 40s, not feeling anything like late December. Even Sunday morning, there may be some leftover sun, but I think the clouds come in pretty quickly on Sunday because watch what happens here after sunset. This is 10 o'clock, so about this time on Sunday. The leading edge of this thing has snow, but see this pink and how big the pink area is? So after snow for a time, we start to see a transition to sleet and freezing rain. And look at this, five o'clock on Monday, the whole area could be dealing with ice instead of snow. So it could be sleet and freezing rain, and then it may flip back to snow by late on Monday, eventually ending is all snow on Tuesday morning. But I don't think snow is the main concern here. There will be an accumulation, but look at the ice map. This is a concern, especially in the southern Adirondacks and southern Vermont. See all this purple color? We don't see it very often on this map, but the purple means a half inch of ice, and that's enough to weigh down tree limbs, maybe even snap them and cause power outages. So the concern is growing for ice. Now, in terms of snow, it's a couple of inches, maybe three to six from the Champlain Valley on through central Vermont and the upper valley. Best chance at six plus would be down near Lebanon. But again, snow is not going to be the concern for this system. I think the ice could be a concerning level, especially south. So we have a, a busy weekend to track that. Tomorrow morning, it's not very cold. 30s, 34 in Burlington. And look at the highs tomorrow. 40s in a lot of spots, 42 in Burlington, 40 in Middlebury. Here's the five day forecast, the dry weekend, and then the mix comes in after dark on Sunday. The yellow icon on Monday is the impact icon for the snow and the ice. Likely power outages in southern Vermont and the southern Adirondacks especially. Then it's a lot more tame for New Year's. There's still some snow showers, but not much. 36 on Tuesday, and then for New Year's Day, 35. So there's no crazy cold at all in the next 10 days. Tom? Tyler.